Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're going to look at how we can now use this idea of the tangent ratio to help us solve for an unknown side in our right triangle. Now we see here we have our right triangle. Remember, this is our slope triangle. And we see that down here, our slope angle is 35 degrees. Across from it, remembering from our previous video, directly across on the opposite side here, we see that this is my delta y. My delta y here is x, it's an unknown side, and we don't know how long that side is. Down here on the bottom, we see that the horizontal side here is our delta x, and delta x here has a value of eight. And what this problem wants us to do is we wanna see can we use this idea of the tangent ratio to help us solve for our unknown side x. So let's go ahead and use this triangle and set up our tangent ratio. So from our previous video, we learned that we can set up the tangent of our angle. In this case, our angle is 35 degrees. So I'm going to write tangent of 35 degrees equals the slope of this triangle. Now remember, slope is just delta y over delta x. Again, we drew our arrow here to show that x is the opposite side from 35 degrees. So x here will go on top as our delta y. On the bottom, we will put eight because that's our delta x. We now have an equation where I have one variable of x that I can solve by just doing some math and using my calculator. So let's go ahead and see how to solve these problems. I'm gonna go ahead and put tangent of 35 degrees over one. I'm gonna turn that into a fraction because now I have a fraction equal to a fraction. And at this step, all I can do now is cross multiply. So I'm gonna cross multiply the bottom and the top here. One times X, that will create X, bring down the equal sign. I'm gonna cross multiply the other piece here. Eight times tangent of 35 degrees. So I'll write eight times tangent of 35 degrees. And now is the point where we can use our calculator. We can enter this part in eight times tangent of 35 degrees, and we'll be able to figure out what our value of x is. So let's get our calculator out. So I've pulled up my free Desmos calculator online, and now I can enter in this equation here. So first things first is you need to make sure that whatever your calculator you're using, that it's set on degree mode. We don't want it set up on radian mode, Radian mode is something that we use in another class. Instead, we want to make sure that it's set to degree mode. So double check that it is on degree mode. Now at this point, we just need to enter this expression into our calculator. We'll go ahead and press eight. We'll type in the tangent function. I see that my tangent function is right here. And inside the parentheses, I'm going to type in the angle. The angle here is 35 degrees. And I see that my answer is coming up as 5.60. I think I'll round that one to a two. So my value there ends up becoming 5.602. That is the length of this unknown side. By using the tangent ratio, now that if we know one of the sides and one of the angles, we're actually able to figure out either delta y or delta x, just by using this tangent ratio. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.